Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We are take we have a very special edition of Matt's RV Reviews. We're taking a look at a motorhome that a full-time family of five is going to be full-timing in. This is the 2016 Fleetwood Bounder Model 36E. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then the owners of this motorhome are gonna give you the three things they love about it and the three things they dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited. We're taking a look at a 2016 30th anniversary edition Fleetwood Bounder that another YouTube family uh, came down from Colorado to uh, buy it from me. Now, before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, <laughs> you're not Andrea. I'm not Andrea. You're Brian from the YouTube show uh, Five to Go. I am Brian from Five to Go. Unfortunately, the other four of us are way back in California, or not? Oh, Colorado. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> but I flew down the other day, and I'm here to pick up this brand new, beautiful, new to us RV from Matt. Perfect. And just so everybody knows, the reason why he didn't bring the family is because we are practicing social distancing. Yeah. Even though we're making this video, you know, at the dealership, we're doing all the precautions. And, you know, definitely check out his channel and, you know, don't hate us. Yeah. And, but, uh, and right now, there's a video about my travel from Colorado to here. You can see empty airplanes, empty airports. Yep. There's nobody out there flying. And I did everything I could to be safe. And we consider this to be an essential trip because we are going to be going full time within the next two months. So we needed another house. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, and we, we've been communicating because of you guys, the RV review crew, let me know that he was in the market for a motor home, uh, for five months ago, you mm -hmm. know, and they yeah. had this game plan. Hey, end of April, we're getting an RV, you know, we couldn't foresee this coming. So here we are, here we go. Let's take a look at this beautiful motor home. Great. So let's get started up front. Model is 36E, and the actual tip to tip length is 36 feet 3 inches. This is a Fleetwood Bounder 30th anniversary, and here's what this has on it. This is pretty much a Southwind, okay? Uh, this has the LX package, which gives you the bigger AC units, the nice chrome mirrors, and a 7000 generator. What happened in 2016, people were getting confused because some people started getting confused because some bounders were priced at this much and some bounders were priced at this much and that LX package was kind of confusing to people. So in 2017 part two, they changed it to, from bounder to Southwind. Hmm. Uh, I absolutely love the headlight designs. It's one of my favorite features about this motorhome. Yeah, I think it's a pretty sharp looking rig. Yeah, I like it. I, it's kind of like the LED lights. Yeah. And you have a nice big windshield. Coming down the side here, this is on the Ford V10 engine. 364 horsepower and all that good stuff. You do have the nice big 22.5 inch tires with, check out those rims. <laughs> These tires are the 235-80 R22.5. And then your chrome mirror, you do have the camera in your left blinker and right blinker, also in reverse. Coming down the side here, chrome handles again that's what's going to be in the lx package and you got a little bit of storage here your magnum inverter and your battery fuse box controller because this is a this is actually i'm going to grab something okay <clears throat> this is one of the best years for fleetwood <laughs> because if people are like oh man you're a salesman it's always the best year when you're trying to sell one i'm being honest with you so check out the paint right this swoosh is iconic to the 30th anniversary edition and a company called Route 66 Toys made a 1 in 64th um, version of this motorhome only one year and that was it. And so when they reached out to me and tell me they were buying this, I hopped on eBay and look at that. I got an exact replica 1 in 1 64th scale of their motorhome and look, it's the same paint color as everything. I love that. <laughs> Coming down the side here, do you have a nice TV entertainment center? Armless awning with LED lights, and there is a wind sensor on that awning. 
I'm not gonna put it out because it's raining and, and stuff. a rain sensor because I actually when I ran it out last night and it started raining real heavy it pulled it right back in it's awesome. awesome yeah it's great nice to hear that things work <laughs> check out that nice big pasture storage very nice all aluminum slam latch doors if you guys don't know this is a tier 4 motorhome high-end and luxury and in my opinion you know it's better to buy used at a tier four than new at a tier one if you guys know what i'm saying without shooting myself in my own foot <laughs> and then right here's your water heater and look what they did there they continued the paint stripe i absolutely love that that's such a big deal for me coming down the side here 25 gallon propane tank also i will have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome lengths tank sizes widths everything down in the description below more storage there there's your hydraulic fluid for the auto leveling and then check that out you do got more storage oh nice you got the ladder let's go up on the roof and take a look all right you guys know i hate these ladders i always feel unsafe all right so coming around the back it's a rear fiberglass cap. You have your backup camera incorporated there. You have a uh, 5,000 pound hitch in this motorhome, can tow 5,000 pounds. And your fuel fill up in the rear, I love that feature because gas stations can be tight. And so you don't wanna have it on one side and then try to make a U-turn. You can access the gap fuel pump on either side. Also, you have a one piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Am I handing this up to you? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. Because this is a used unit, the customer's already added the max air fan covers, two AC units, little 100-watt solar panel on top, and then right there is a satellite dish in your King Air antenna. All right. Ready? Yep. Here we go now. <laughs> I'm not working today. Most people wouldn't want this shot of themselves on a ladder. <laughs> well, I'm not most people. This is true. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What our RV salesman going to take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. <laughs> Nobody. And if you haven't already, make sure you get your official Matt's RV review sticker Bing! on my website, mattsrvreviews.com. We're doing buy one, get one free this week. Brian, why don't you tell everybody about your sticker? Uh, my sticker. Yep. We don't sell our stickers. Oh, you don't sell your stickers? No, we send them to our patrons. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Well, what about your merchandise? Uh, we sell these. What's that? Uh, this is my, my new favorite shirt, actually. And uh, if you go to any of our videos, you'll see these shirts down below our videos. Bing! And uh, this is my favorite. We have a couple others. They're very travel-centric. They're not specifically buy to go also over on our channel under all of our videos we have links to our website to our patreon to our discord channel all that fun stuff so if you guys want to interact with us and see more about this beautiful rig just head over there awesome let's continue the video over here this is another feature these two features right here to the lx package 50 amp power cord with a reel i love that and right there you do have a built-in surge protector and then here's another feature Right here is your Cummins Onan 7000 generator. <laughs> and bigger is better. Over here, here's your wet bay sanitation station. Look at that, he has his gloves ready. He hasn't even dumped his black tank yet. We're excited to see that. <laughs> and yeah, this is just the other side of your uh, pasture storage and everything. Well, Brian, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. It does. Let's go take a look. Who goes in first? You do. Okay. And then just walk through the whole thing and then <clears throat> come back up front. All right, so inside, all the way back first, kind of like a little preview. Inside the Ballander 2016-36E. Great 
great. Oh uh, yeah, we didn't put the slide outs out. We're kind of short on time. There's a big rainstorm coming. But up here in the cockpit area, check this out. Both seats do swivel around to join the living room area. This is kind of a unique design. They don't even make this floor plan anymore, but I love the big social circle right here. It's great. You got your TV and fireplace right there. Up here in the cockpit area, check this out. Two screens, I love that. That's super iconic to Fleetwood. It's such a great feature right there in the passenger seat. You got a slide out tray right there. Very nice. And uh, Brian, did you know about your secret storage? Um, apparently not. What? Oh! What? I did not know. That's a lot of controllers. <laughs> yeah, you, you you thought you had a lot of remotes. Wow. There it is. I did not know about that. Yep. Awesome. I, dude, I've been selling bounders for three years until somebody told me about that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a really awesome feature. You do have a bunk over the cab. I believe it holds 500 pounds. Key's not in the ignition. Oh, there you go. There you go. I love how fast that goes down. Yes. Very nice. Now this is a thin mattress, but they have these type of uh, boards underneath that does make it comfortable. And you do have your TV above there. One little pain in the butt that Brian was, Brian was saying was, um, since this TV is so close to that TV, you got to kind of like angle the remote. Yeah. Crazy. But pros and cons. Two AC units, fully ducted. Uh, this Brian's TV, it, he does have a fire stick hooked up to it. So that's a nice feature. And you do have your TV and fireplace. And that, what's great is this fireplace does produce heat. So if Brian was too cold last night, you know, he could have had that on and it would have done a really good job heating this up. Mm -hmm. Over here in the living room area, beautiful cabinetry. He has stuff in these too. <laughs> so we'll open these. Nice hidden hinge cabinetry. It's kind of like a cherry wood. I think it looks fantastic. Um, and right here is like your L-shaped sectional couch. Go like that. And you go like that. Now you're saying you're probably going to take this out? I don't know yet. Oh, okay. I probably just ruined <laughs> something for the, his next video. <clears throat> so uh, scratch that. What are you with? We love this. Oh, and also that um, driver's seat does have legs that kick up for a recliner. Yeah, the passenger seat's a recliner. Passenger seat, yes. Yep. Yeah, it's so funny working with another YouTuber because <laughs> some things you don't want to reveal. Because <laughs> um, I think in your video, I gave you the toy before mm -hmm. anybody knew what your motorhome was. But this video is going up at the same time as this oh, one. Oh, okay, so cool. We're good. Cool. Five to go. Get your stickers. Right here, solid surface countertop. Nice big sink. I love that. It's a nice recessed sink. And it's kind of like a Corian material. Yeah, I love these countertops. Yeah, it's And they're, they're all the way through, too. They're in the bathrooms, too. Yes, throughout the whole motorhome. That was... Thank you. That was another feature to the LX package. Um, in, in a bounder, this is just solid surface. The kitchen table in the bathroom was then compressed, you know. Right, the laminate, yeah. Yes, where this is all solid surface. I love the backsplash here, and then I love the window right at the campsite. You nice, nice cabinetry right here, oh, okay. Look at that, a little spice holder customer added. And then these are adjustable shelves. LED lights right there. Nice, big microwave convection oven. Very nice. Three burner cooktop. Check that out. Nice, nice. Nice backsplash. No oven. Nice drawers. Nice drawers. Ooh, ooh. Reese's. <laughs> so we went to Walmart. Yep. And all the candies were 50% off. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. Uh, and then right here, oh, I like that. Okay, so here's yeah. your power control system and everything. I like how it's covered up and it's not exposed. Yeah, and also that it's not low because we do have young children. Ah, yeah. very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, nope, sorry. And then right here, 
your Samsung residential refrigerator. Real bachelor style right here, you know. Just, <laughs> you know this, Soda and water. This, yeah. how, this is how we do it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you got ice. Oh, I didn't even know that was running. Yeah. I was wondering what that noise was. <laughs> That's it. Over here, your dinette. This does drop down to make a bed. Nice, big, comfortable dinette. Here's where he edits all his videos. There's stuff in there. Yep. <laughs> and then you do have storage underneath the dinette. Great. Oh, my God. Look at this piece of artwork. Hey, Brian, is this artwork Art Deco? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And then this is a bath and a half motorhome. Okay. Solid surface countertops. Storage above. Storage above. You have a nice porcelain toilet. I like it. Almost not a prime pooping position. This is toilet paper holders right there. And if it was this much higher, my legs would be like that. But for me, <laughs> It's nice, it's porcelain. It gets the four piece. It is a little tight through this walkway, but it's all good. We got more storage here. And then right here is prepped for a combo washer dryer. And if you don't need that, you got the nice drawers. All right, over here in the bedroom area, you have a nice queen size bed power outlets on both sides here's your light switch you got storage above the bed do we have storage below the bed yes nice storage below the bed oh and there is the ladder for the bunk and the table for when the chairs do swivel over here we got a little bit of storage there oh actually a lot of storage there a lot of storage there and LG TV with storage there. Very nice. Nice countertop there. Storage and storage, six drawers. Great. Oh, didn't even mention, you have nice daytime shades and privacy shades. I love that. That's every single window. Yeah, I love that over here in the bathroom area oh my god now this is a shower i absolutely love this look how big this is how wide how tall this is very nice adjustable shower height oh my god this is a very big and comfortable shower i am a huge fan of that and i love these doors right here the sink again solid surface storage there you got three drawers drawers, drawers, in the medicine cabinet. All right. More storage right there. I love, I think almost every storage thing I've seen had adjustable shelving. Yeah, everywhere there's a shelf that you can move it. Yep, that's nice. great. Towel, porter, and then here's the other toilet. You know the porcelain? All right. So kind of weird, kind of different. <laughs> I can't give it the four piece. The counter in the way? A little bit. Yeah. Like, it doesn't obstruct my view or whatever, but it just can't get the four piece. So, this motorhome, that one gets a four piece, this one gets three and a half piece. So, we got seven and a half piece. You know, it's still it's still a lot better than it being sideways and me being rubbing. Right. At least this part, I'm good. Your toilet place holder's right there, good. And you do got a little bit more storage right there. Well, that's it. That's the review. Brian. Yes, sir. You bought this motorhome. I did. It's now time you tell the <laughs> world three things you love about this motorhome and three things you dislike about it. What do you want to do first? Uh, your choice. Oh, my God. Andrea never <laughs> makes it my choice. Normally, Andrea decides and I tell her to change her mind. Uh-oh. Let's do three things you don't like about it first. Okay. Because then we'll end on a positive note. All right. Do you want to start now? <clears throat> No, three things you don't like. Oh, don't like first, right. Yep. Uh, yep, so first, since we're back here, the first one is on the way to the front. Um, this is a little bit tight. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of broad-shouldered, uh, yep. so it's a little bit tight. 
but it'll be just fine. Um, we are probably going to put a washer dryer combo unit down here. Very nice. So when we do that, when we're unloading it, I might have to do something like with this door yep. to be able to like open it this way. I don't know, but it's a little snug through here. Now, will you be installing it yourself or at a dealership? We'll install it. Perfect. Are you going to make a video on it? Yes. Perfect. Guys. If we do. <laughs> yeah. That's why you need to subscribe to this channel. Listen, my channel is great and stuff, but he's the DIY. He's literally buying it and doing it and everything. And it's going to be features like that that you won't see on this channel why you got to subscribe to his channel yeah, we have a lot of videos about like setting up in campsites tips about gear tips about travel especially travel with young kids so if you want to see stuff out on the road yep check us out also um tell everybody about that thousand trails thing you're telling me oh, about yeah, we do um matt said he was getting a lot of questions from his customers about like camping memberships and stuff like that and obviously thousand trails is a big one uh we have a couple videos about different thousand trails campgrounds and we have one video about like what thousand trails costs for us and how we use it and there's also a huge blog post on our website labgo.com all about thousand trails how we used a zone pass why we upgraded to an elite membership how to get a discount on it all that stuff so if you want thousand trails or you're even thinking about it check out our stuff and you'll get the whole lowdown on it perfect super right. exciting <laughs> so that's one dislike two uh number two power outlets okay so our previous rig that we full-timed in for about two years was a grand design travel trailer and there were outlets everywhere uh that's really not the case in here so in the kitchen you know there's one up here and then there's one down on the edge here and that's okay but when i was sitting down to edit my last video in here there's no power outlet over here like down low there's power outlets up top and it's kind of weird well there is course. one down low is there yep right there in the back man corner. okay but it's okay but all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no so but if I but was like over here, here yeah yeah so the only power outlet up around the couch is up here so yep. if you want to sit here and need to charge your phone but you want it nearby because you're on there scrolling facebook or whatever um you're gonna have a cord hanging down right and That's it's not nice. that there's you know if if it was one person in this motorhome or yeah. even two yeah. the power outlets are fine yeah. but you're a family of five yeah. and, and so you need outlets yep yeah so that, that might be an issue but i'll i'll figure out a way to add some or run some extension cords um, and then another secret that matt showed me last night there's a power outlet up under the uh, passenger dash yep i had i was sitting here editing last night and i had a power cord running from across the way so you know and like that drawer i had no idea that was there so it might be less of an issue in the future but for right now it is what it is it is what it is um and third you know i was sitting here last night demonstrate editing yeah. the video and this is a very comfortable seat which is good because i have a 1700 mile drive starting today um but when you swivel all the way around yep. so i can face the tv yep i can't go all the way around uh-huh because this arm hits the steering wheel right so the only way for me to come all the way around is to put the arm down but then with the laptop here it was kind of yep you know, so it's the little stuff like that you yep know? but manageable not a problem great <clears throat> now it's time for three things you love about this motorhome three things i love uh the cockpit yes um, you know like matt was saying earlier the fleetwood cockpit is pretty iconic uh it is incredibly comfortable these seats are fantastic I am kind of a tall, wide dude. I have plenty of room up in here. I like the placement of the cameras. Mm -hmm. So all the cameras come on there. So the rear and the side cameras are on that left screen. And then this right screen is nav, radio, Bluetooth, all that stuff. Very comfortable, very easy to see everything. And I've been driving Ford for a long time, so it's all very familiar as well. Um, Great. So that's one. Two. Number two oh, okay. Number two is another thing that Matt touched on is the cabinetry if you have seen our channel at all aaron and i have gone in literally hundreds of rvs everything from really small like a-frames and teardrops all the way up to big huge diesel pushers and one thing that we see across the board is cheap cabinetry mm -hmm. i'm not going to name brands but you probably know them uh fleetwood is not one of them because these cabinets everything closes real solid the handles are all nice the hinges are all nice it's a nice color it's all solid wood nothing is floppy or flippy or clanging and banging when you're opening and closing stuff and that means a lot especially when you're living in something and touching it every single day yep 
Okay. And I think the color, it's kind of like a cherry yeah, or it's, something. It is, yeah. yeah it, some of the photos, it looked a little bit orange, but now that I'm seeing it in person, I like it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I like it a lot. So, so that's two. And five, then number three? Number three, um, again, if you watch our channel at all, uh, you know that we absolutely despise RV ovens. There's no oven. We're so happy about that. We like the gas cooktop because it's great for like boiling water and doing fast stuff. And then a convection oven was a very big requirement for us because you can fit a half sheet pan in there and those little RV propane ovens, you're not putting a half sheet pan in there. So we like that we have drawers here instead because in our travel trailer, our oven was storage and it's really tiny. The yep. drawers are huge. We're so happy about that. Great. Well, I want to add one more like. Sure. I like how. How about how about one like and one dislike from you? Okay. Um. Huh. Man, this is not part of the video. <laughs> nope. Okay. So my dislike. It's always my dislike on these bounders. I hate those ladders. I oh, feel yeah. very unsafe going up it. Mm -hmm. Well, not going up it. I feel very unsafe coming down it. Okay. You know, just the way it hit hinges on the back. I've mm -hmm. never been a fan. Never will be a fan. But the reason why they do that is so like you have kids to make sure that they don't go climbing up on the roof. Right, yeah. So yeah, it might be a pain, but it's for safety. Mm -hmm. uh, and then number two, I do love the LX package on it. I love the chrome. I love the bigger generator. I love the AC units and the chrome handles and the chrome mirrors and, and the power cord reel. Because mm -hmm. especially, you know, if you're gonna be full timing and going in colder climates, that power cord reel does get heavy. Yeah. And Especially then another like, cool. that's not a real like, but it's a like. I like how this <laughs> matches your motorhome. I got so excited when you said 2016 Bounder. Um, I was like, nice, because there's a toy that matches your motorhome. And I really wish that Route 66 would make these for motorhomes. I think they'd sell like crazy. Well, yes and no. It's su such a small market. But if, if, if anybody knows if a 3D printer can make these custom to what people's motorhomes... Like I got a great idea, like you snap pictures of all four sides around your motorhome and have the 3D printer make it. I mean, you're not gonna become a millionaire, but you can become a thousandaire off of it. <laughs> but that's it, that's the review. Brian, thank you so much for yeah, man. coming down from Colorado. It's an honor. <laughs> no, man, I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this motorhome or any new motorhomes, please, or any use. People ask me all the time, do we sell use? Yes. Check out the website, generalrv.com. Don't contact General, contact me, and uh, I can find you any used motorhome anywhere, anytime. If you have any questions, please call me, text me, send me an email. It's matsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 or my website, matsrvreviews.com. If you haven't already gotten your official Matt's RV Review sticker right here, bing, uh, go to the website. We're doing buy one, get one free. So we appreciate it because you guys are awesome. And Brian, you have anything you want to say to the good people? Uh, no, just, uh, <laughs> no. Not really, just thanks for having us on your channel and uh, thanks for being on our channel and thank you to all the commenters on both of our channels for kind of getting us together and making this happen. Great. Thanks guys. Thank you so much. And, uh, and then finally, now you can check out Brian's channel, Five to Go. Link in the description below or just go five, F-I-V-E, two, Go, G-O, and uh, and check out their channel right there. Thanks so much for watching. Brian, we'll see you next time. We're starting in three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> I always wonder what happened after the jump. <laughs> like, so now, so, oh, he jumped. So now what? <laughs> and cut.